Hola, welcome back to my vlog. Um, I'm in Brazil or whatever. I want to show you my view. I'm currently in Brazil. Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, I know it's been a minute. A lot has changed. As y'all seen my last video, my get ready with me, I switched to another airline. I'm still getting acclimated. This is footage from March when I went to Brazil. Like, your girl is still traveling out here. And if you want flight attendant content, let me know. But let me just say, do not go on a vacation like because you hear vacation, you hear about the aesthetic, and like, oh my God, like he's paying for it, blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna get into it. But yes, enjoy the video. Thank you guys for tuning back in. I know it's been a while, but enjoy the content. See you soon. And OMG, I was being so rude. First and foremost, thank you guys for continuously subscribing. And also, look at this view. Brazil, Rio de Janeiro in particular, the hotel I stayed at, had immaculate views. Like, oh my gosh, food was 10 out of 10. Like, just stay with me on this journey. It's gonna probably be a lot of B-roll, a lot of me walking and stuff, more, more so than me talking. But enjoy the content, and I'll be checking in and out in this video. But if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do that. Thank you, and bye. Welcome back. Um, I'm at the Botanical Gardens right now. It's really beautiful. I don't think I'm in the heart of it. It's super nice. It's hot as fuck outside, actually, if I want to be honest. But we're going to get into it. And I want to show y'all, I see Christ the Redeemer, which is where I'm going to eventually today. That's Christ the Redeemer. And this is where I'm currently. Which road should I take? Left or right, y'all? Comment down below which road I should take. Left or right? Comment down below what you think I'm gonna take. Tree. I love nature. Fun fact, by far, I love nature. I wanna go to Yellowstone National Park in America. This is how I need my photographer. Cause period, real people do real things. Did you 
can see, I'm still in Brazil. This is day three. Tomorrow I leave. Fingers crossed because y'all don't have a flight attendant, so I'll be fine. Stand by. Um, but I'm at the pool drinking a drink that I customized because I'm a tequila girl and this is a Caprina. It's good. But I've been getting mine with lime and tequila. It's, it's some type of beverage. Maybe it's like lemonade or some shit. I don't know. But it's fire. And so I'm at the pool waiting for my lunch. Um, I'm probably gonna swim a little bit, try to get some content. Um, it's supposed to have thunderstorm today. Hopefully it doesn't. I was gonna leave today, but I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow because the flight loads, which means like the flights look way better tomorrow than they do today. Them views are immaculate. The people here are beautiful. Like, I guess BBL um, originated in Brazil because the doctor who started it was Brazilian, but Everyone's been very, very natural. There's no fat asses, outrageous booties, outrageous bodies or whatever. Everyone looks great. Super beautiful, but I'm really enjoying myself. I'm in a scantily clad bikini, looking great. The yellow's popping, it's hitting on the skin or whatever. Now I'm just waiting for my food to arrive. I'll show you what my food is when it gets here, but until then, I'm gonna swim. Thanks for coming back, and if you're not subscribed right now, you should subscribe. I'm actually a little lit, I ain't even gonna hold you. I'll show y'all a view that I'm gonna get in the pool. Ready? Let's go. See what I got. I had this last night and it was to die for. It was so good. So I'm gonna eat it again. Whoa, y'all close as fuck. Whoa, even closer. Like I said, I had this food last night. So I'm about to eat it again. I'll let y'all see what it looked like. It's risotto, mixed vegetables, and salmon. Literally, chef's kiss. I'm gonna go talk to the chef and kiss his ass. I'm about to bust it down. So I switched locations. I'm currently at the JW Marriott. Baby, if you're looking for you a man, a big spender, go to the JW Marriott in, um, in Rio de Janeiro. And it's across from the beach, so it's like you, you can't lose. And it's not that expensive. It was $188 for a night. And although I didn't intentionally plan on staying here, um things happen and transpired with the person i travel with so i decided to remove myself and get my own little spot and somebody put me onto the jw marriott and so i was like let me just go there i'm laying my edges because i'm about to go to the pool i'm gonna check out in two hours actually i need to book me a flight um so head to the airport Whew, sitting in my hair 
I'm going to be traveling to Sao Paulo and then from Sao Paulo I'm going to be getting on a flight on United going to Chicago. Um, I would extend my stay, you know, somebody want me to extend my stay, I will. But honestly, I need to make my way home. And this is why I came for solo traveling, because you don't have to hear somebody else. You don't have to deal with nobody's attitude. You don't have to deal with no bullshit. You can just be by yourself. The only thing is, like, you're by yourself. But it's like, I'm a great time. But yeah, I'm just a fast talker as well. But I'm about to go sit by the pool, probably get some lunch. Um, I'm packing my stuff up so when I come back up, I can just skidiaddle. I've extended my stay here until 3 when checkout was at noon or 11. No, I think it was at noon. So I just extended my stay a couple more hours for $20. That's really not bad given the amenities I have access to. I'm about to go to the rooftop pool and relax for a little while, two hours or so. My flight doesn't leave till 545. Y'all pray, pray to the flight boards that I get on this flight. I was gonna want to purchase a ticket. Like what's the point of being a flight attendant if you gotta buy a ticket? There's no point. Um, so I'm flying to Sao Paulo because the options of getting out are better in Sao Paulo than they are in Rio de Janeiro. Don't play with me. Like, I had to tell her I lied a little bit, but I was like dead ass. Like, um, well, I'm a flight attendant. And she's like, let me see your bag. And I'm billing everything to her. I'm like, put it on the room. Put it on the room. Even though I'm gonna have to pay these fucking charges in the end. I don't give a fuck. Cause this is also a safe space and a space for black girls popping their shit for black girl luxury. So we gonna do what we gonna do. And I I get paid tomorrow, so I'm not really tripping. And it costs to be the boss. Basically. Look at my fucking selfie holder. I mean my tripod, my phone tripod. It's so freaking dope. I honestly don't even want to get no more content. I feel like what I got is what I got. I really came here for the experience like Beyonce on her song Blue on the self-titled album Beyonce. Hey, you Girl, girl, you ain't even been around to know the story, honey. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm vlogging. Um, okay. I'm in the airport. I feel like I haven't been able to show you guys too much, and I apologize. Also, I don't think anyone likes long vlogs unless you actually like watching YouTube. Um, uh, it's been a hell of an experience. I'm looking lit, <laughs> and I secured a couple like good networking opportunities. Um, I enjoy myself thoroughly, especially towards the end, especially towards the end. But I got me a seat, a confirmed seat, baby. Um, it's only twenty-three dollars and I'm going to a town that's six hours away if you drive. Four to six hours away if you drive, but an hour is a flat. I got a 5D, my seat's 5D, so it's giving me some fun. It's first class. Polaris on United because I flew her on American and it was so fucking ghetto. The flight attendant wanted to be for me. Um, some flight attendants just really, like this flight attendant I was flying on the aircraft, he's 31 years in because he mentioned it. And I guess he always comes to Brazil, which is cool, but it's like, you don't have to be disrespectful. He was disrespectful to a lady I was sitting next to who paid for her seat and it's just like, I know I'm flying standby, but at the end of the day, like, you're here to provide a quality customer service experience. And you're talking cash flow crazy and I was just like what are you who are you talking to don't you work here like you so comfortable because you have seniority and maybe you have acquired tenure and the aviation industry is in shambles so they need everyone who currently works there to retain and stay there but it's like you're not about to talk to me crazy you're not about to talk to her crazy and I'm not one of those scared people like I mean if you want to open the aircraft door and let me off then let me off but before I let you disrespect me my pride is too much you know like I have so much self-respect for myself why well, I wouldn't let you disrespect me then he tried to apologize. I'm just like, you can't, you can't loop and go off on people and then like retract and apologize as if like the shit you did doesn't have an effect. So like, I was just really like, and my seatmates was like, damn, you tripping? I'm not on for now. I probably let y'all see like my journey back because baby, we are first kids. We have Polaris. Polaris is different. It's like you get your own shoe on United. So I ain't never had Polaris. I'm excited for that experience. I've spent a lot of money here. I'm definitely coming back. And let me tell y'all the tea. If y'all want to know the tea, how to, let me show you just how to pimp a nigga. Make him think he'd love to take as money than you. I'll let y'all know. Just let me know if y'all want to know in the comments and I'll let y'all know. Because my people are my close friends. If you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, follow me, Fab Flies, F-A-B-F-L-Y-Y-Y. And you can see my, my journey, my experiences while I've been in Brazil. But all in all, I've enjoyed myself. I want to come back. Maybe a girl's trip. 
maybe a little solo location because honestly I've navigated and I used my resources and I found a lot of stuff and I did a lot of things. All of my business. Um, I'm on my last fight. I am in Polaris, which means I'm laying down. I'm reclining. Because like, getting here was fucking ghetto on American. I told you I was beefing with the flight attendant, and he wanted to smoke, and I would match that energy. Also, this costume extra, right? Just some background that you should. That's what I promote on my channel. I'm probably not going to vlog anymore because I'm exhausted from the sun. It's all my And just, yeah. So, I'm signing off, but I hope I got enough content for you guys and enjoyed my video. Um, if you're not following me, follow me. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe because you keep coming back. Like the video, okay? Help me, help me, help me. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm headed to Chicago. Bye.